March is a problem. It might be broke season already. Welcome back, guys. Hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you're having an amazing Thursday. Today, I have to cut this release down into two videos because there's so much sneakers coming out. There's too many to account for. Trust me, this is part one of March releases because it's broke season because there's loads and loads of sneakers coming out. So let's see what's coming out in March, part one. So what is up guys, hope you're having an amazing Thursday, hope you're having an amazing day. So there's too many sneakers coming out in March, trust me, it could be broke season for a lot of people that are chasing these sneakers, but we are doing part one of a two part episode into the sneakers for March because this one's going in at the beginning, I'm going to do one at the middle of March because there's too many sneakers to count and there's too many releases and it's going to be a problem. Just trust me guys, it's going to be a problem. But before I go into the sneakers, please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to me, let's have a conversation, let's break it down because these are going to be hard. Is this going to be intensifying all the releases for March? Trust me, there's too many out there. So let's get into these releases. So let's keep it unique. Let's keep it interesting. Let's give these sneakers some ratings. We're going to give it some GOAT rating. So one out of five GOATs. And we might give that spectacular sneaker of the month or one or two or three. It could be four sneakers that hit that super GOAT, that unmissable, that must have sneaker, that must cop. But that's all in my opinion because your tastes might be different to mine but let's go look at this sneaker because first today we should have got the restock of the Yeezy 500 blush that is the restock the re-release the whatever you want to call it this is Yeezy's time to give us all new sneakers re-releases that we all wanted because we all want to see that blush so today we should have got the Yeezy 500 blush. I don't think this was just an EU UK exclusive. This must have been worldwide. I'm not too sure guys, but we should have seen the Yeezy 500 blushes restock. And that to me is a four goat out of five. And another sneaker that released today was the size exclusive Nike Dunk Low. I think it's just a size exclusive. So it could be for the guys in the EU and UK. This is the brown tan with the blue tick, the Nike Dunk Low. And that rating, I'm going to give it a three goats out of five. Not too keen on it. If it was an SB, probably would get a higher rating, but three goats out of five for me. So another sneaker that is supposed to be releasing on the third. This one's a bit more sporadic. It's the Nocta Nike Hot Stepper Air Terror. It's supposed to be in black and in white. I don't know whether this is going to be this week or next week. I think the white version actually came out in the States in January time, I think, but we are supposed to be getting this in the EU and UK, so that should be coming out soon. And I like the white version. The black version is just a black sneaker to me, but the white one looks nice. I'm gonna give this three goats out of five. Very nice sneaker, very unique. Another Drake exclusive to Nike. I think this is his first Nike exclusive. So it'll be very hyped, very hard to get, but get your raffles in, you might be able to get it. So what is it with all these sneakers releasing on Thursday? Because this is like the third or fourth time we've had releases on Thursday. But today on the 3rd of March, we should have got the Jordan 1 85 OG cut Georgetown, which should have released today on the sneakers app and all the other foot sites. And this is just an EU UK exclusive because the bros and the sisters in the states are supposed to be getting in april it's a month late either we're early or we're on time and they're late but unfortunately they are not getting their pairs until april so the resale is going to be high the resale is going to consistently be high until the full release comes out and that's normally what the situation is so watch out for those restocks watch out for those re-releases and watch out for those shipments that are to those foot sites because there's going to be loads and loads of stock on this hopefully once the full release happens but until then hope you're lucky today but I'm going to give this a four goats out of five because it is a nice sneaker. A Jordan 1 is always a nice sneaker. 85 cut, high cut, leather tough, 
Nuka is interesting, definitely, definitely interesting. So watch out, be careful, and make sure you don't pay over the odds for a sneaker. <laughs> Thursday is a new date. Thursday is a new date for release for sneakers, trust me. This is the like the fifth or sixth sneaker that we've got on the Thursday. This is the third of March. Another sneaker it is a Jound 990 New Balance V3 Khaki. This is a really, really nice sneaker. I, to be honest, I need to try some of these New Balance sneakers out, some of these New Balance silhouettes out because they do actually look nice. And I've been told they're really comfortable. The bros have been telling me they are really, really comfortable. So watch out for that, please. That should be coming out oh that should have actually come out today when i'm recording this or when this is actually on youtube so watch out for that if you haven't seen it if you didn't get it watch out it might actually restock and you might actually get them for a reasonable price but if you're into that jound if you're into that new balance 990 that v3 version of that khaki it is actually a nice khaki to be honest but go and get it if you can if you haven't just look out for the restocks and re releases because hopefully you'll be able to get yourself a beautiful pair of new balances and this i'm giving a four goats out of five okay another sneaker on the 3rd of march and today we should have got the dunk high supreme brazil pine green the by any means and the navy red high and this was a supreme release so if you didn't if you missed it sorry guys this is going to be hard to get this is going to be a sneaker that is really 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 in demand so just watch out for it and hopefully you got it because the prices on this resale if you didn't cop are going to be mental s be high supreme mix it together and you've got a cold room of hype and price increases but hopefully you did get it and it should have come out today on the supreme app and i'm going to give this a four goats out of five very unique very, very different free sneakers from supreme and nike and to do with the sb range and they're carrying on that increased hype on the sb range so on the 4th of March, we are supposedly getting the Nike SB, I should wear dark gray SB lows. These are the SB lows that probably released in the States a couple of months back and we are getting the stock finally in the EU and UK and we finally get in a release. So let's see what this does because hopefully cross your fingers, you might get this tomorrow. This is coming out on Friday, the 4th of March. So go and check it out. I'm going to give this a consistent four goats out of five. So now we're getting into some big hitters because it's Saturday, it's the 5th of March and the ladies and gentlemen in the States are getting the 350 MX Blue which is apparently going to be released in the States only. We ain't going to see it in the EU and UK but we might eventually see it down the line but this time it's just only a States release and it is the MX version in blue is a 350 in blue with some white translucent hints all the way through nice sneaker actually i've not seen any of the mx in hand i've not seen the mx oats but it looks like a very colorful unique sneaker the 350 iconic but let's see how this does because i don't really 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 understand the mx range is just a 350 mix with all these different variations but if you like it you love it and this is going to be released on saturday and i'm going to give it a full goat out of five so another banger for the 5th of March and I told you guys, I warned you guys, this month is going to be crazy. It reminds me of April last year because this March is absolutely crazy in terms of releases. It's going to be taxing on your wallet, but we'll get the releases that you really want and be cautious with your finances. But on the 5th of March, another Yeezy, this time is restocking. It is a re-release of the Yeezy 700 V2 Static. Absolutely gorgeous. This is up there in terms of hype. This is up there in in terms of actual resale price and this is up there in terms of demand so guys watch out for this this is going to be releasing i think in the eu and uk on the 5th of march and for everybody else in the states on the 7th of march that's what i've actually got told and this is what i can see from the release calendars but watch out for it and this is going to be a massive stock so if you want it you'll be able to get it trust me guys so just go in for it get in the drawers get in all the raffles that you want because this is going to be a very good 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 big release and for me this is such a beautiful sneaker this has to be a five goats out of five so another release on the 5th of march and this is another banger for saturday this is the nike sb dunk high passport work boots this is such a unique beautiful sneaker you can actually see this it looks really vintage to me looks really vintage that pine green that 
brown colorway that goes infuses that sneaker well 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 together this is a gorgeous sneaker another beautiful sneaker another release on saturday so watch that wallet guys <laughs> watch that wallet told you guys this march is absolutely crazy but i'm gonna give this a four goats out of five another release for the 5th of march and this is the nike air max 95 unity rattan the rise unity rattan that's coming out it's got this gorgeous gorgeous colorway through it it is absolutely lutely amazing because it looks so different it looks like a really unique 95 gorgeous gorgeous looks absolutely beautiful it's got that traditional 95 look to it it's got that traditional 95 cut and it's got some sort of like really age authentic look to it age sneakers are absolutely gorgeous at the moment age sneakers are absolutely gorgeous this is the rise unity rattan absolutely nice absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna give this a four guts out of five for all the 95 fans that really want it you should go and get it, it comes out on the 5th of march guys okay this might just be the banger of the month the banger of 5th of march the banger of the year because if you know my top 10 from last year i gave this silhouette this og silhouette my sneaker of the year and on the 5th of march we are getting the jordan 6 unc finally in hand this has been delayed several times and finally on the 5th of march on that saturday on that prestigious day we are getting the jordan 6 unc my favorite for the year one of my favorites for the year trust me it is an absolute gorgeous sneaker and this is getting the super goal rating because this is awesome this is absolutely one that everybody needs to get their hands on because this is a gorgeous gorgeous sneaker and this is going to be up there in my top five sneakers of the year possibly top five possibly just outside dependent on what the releases are this year but it's too early to say but a gorgeous 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 silhouette a gorgeous colorway and a gorgeous color blocking absolutely gorgeous absolutely amazing absolutely must have and i'm pretty sure all you guys out there will be chasing this one so the 7th of march yeezy had to do it again and they're dropping more slides this time it is the ochre the onyx and the pures they're all coming out some of them are restocked i think the ochre is the only one that is actually not a restock i might be wrong or the onyx but we are getting more slides on the 7th of march beautiful if you want slides this is another summer sneaker slides keep coming out every two months so if you missed them last month or last couple of months ago you can actually get them again another variation another colorway another great great release so i'm gonna give this four gods out of five for everybody that loves that slide and that foam runner because i think we are getting some foam runners this month but if you want it go and get it i'll be definitely going in for the bro because he definitely wants a pair of these but if you are looking for them, make sure you go two sizes up because those sizes don't really fit so make sure you go up two sizes for a proper fit if you want that back ankle heel to actually hit the back of your heel so make sure you get two sizes up guys but another beautiful release another beautiful kind of slide release from yeezy so make sure if you want it go and get it that's my four gots out of five so on the 8th of march we're getting another jordan 6 silhouette but this time it's the mint foam it's a women's exclusive so ladies if you want this sneaker go and get it it is a jordan 6 jordan 6s are absolutely gorgeous so if you want it go and get it i love the quality on this because it looks on point and that mint all the way through that midsole looks absolutely gorgeous it is a sneaker that i think some guys will go up and get but this is going to a nine and a half this is actually going extended sizes nine and a half uk and that's ten and a half us so if you want it it's coming out on the 8th of march guys and i'm gonna give this a four goats out of five and on the 10th of march we are apparently getting a nike sakai collaboration another collaboration with nike and sakai this time it is the vapor waffle this time it's going to be in that cell colorway and that black noir colorway which actually goes hand in hand with the other two that released which was the dark iris and the sesame all gorgeous all gorgeous silhouettes i actually did want those sesame colorways but unfortunately i didn't get them in hand i might one day go and pick them up but another good variation another good collaboration i like these vapor waffles these are coming out on the 10th of march and if you want it go and get it get your raffles and make sure you are in tune to get your raffles in because i think these might semi sit 
or they might semi sell out because there's so many releases in March. Everybody's going to be pocket watching. Everybody's going to get the releases they want the most. And this is why I think some of these sneakers might actually end up sitting on store, in store in the foot sites. But if you want it, go and get it. This is going to get my four goats out of five. It is Air Max month and it is the 26th of March when we get Air Max Day. And we've seen so many rumors on that Air Max run, on different Air Maxes releasing on Air Max Day. So let's keep in tune. But on the 10th of March, we are getting the big window BW Hemp Air Max coming out. So that is in collaboration with Air Max month. So we've seen different variations of the big window come out. This is another variation. This time the hemp colorway coming out. And if you want it, go and get it. I'm going to give this a four gots out of five because everybody loves a big window and this is a gorgeous 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 variation to that big window and on the 10th of march we are getting another air max to go hand in hand with air max day this time it is the air max 90 nrg leopard there's something about animal skin and air max that goes really well i do like this this is absolutely a sneaker that goes hand in hand with that tradition of putting some leopard or some animal skin or some animal base skins on an Air Max. Very nice sneaker. Very good for all those lovers of Air Max 90s and some people that want that actual animal print on their sneakers. So I'm going to give this a free goats out of five. Nearing the end of this list, finally for part one, join in for part two, we'll be discussing all the releases from the 12th onwards or the 15th onwards because there's so many releases coming out for March. I have to condense it into two videos. But on the 11th of March, we are getting a new very of the foam runner which is the stone age if you love foam runners if you love that variation if you love that sneaker watch out for that because stone age foam runner is coming out on the 11th of march i heard the mist might be restocking or mist variation might be coming out so watch out for that it might be two it might be three we don't know but there is definitely going to be a foam runner on the 11th of march go check it out this is going to get my four goats out of five another release from new balance and this time it's on the 11th of March and this time it is the Slave Embry 574 Yurt Olive Red Navy and the original Yurt and this time as you can see it's got that whistle at the back for when you're duck hunting <laughs> but it's, a, it's another New Balance it's another unique sneaker it's another take on that 574 it is another nice sneaker so this time I'm going to give this sneaker a four guts out of five if you want it comfortability if you're going duck hunting and you're going to shoot some ducks go and get this sneaker but I don't condone it by the way don't shoot ducks but <laughs> if you want the Soleil Ben Brie, it's coming out on the 11th of March yet another Yeezy and this time I think it's for the ladies and gentlemen in the States because we are getting or they are getting the Yeezy 350 pure oat and this supposedly is releasing on the 11th of March another good colorway another pure white colorway another colorway you can hit for the summer very nice very gorgeous very very like the triple white or the triple creams but another variation it kind of takes after the MX oats this is the pure oats this is a nice sneaker trust me it looks absolutely gorgeous i'm going to give this rating a four goats out of five a unique sneaker for the summer if you want it go get it go you get your raffles in i'm hoping we get a release in the eu and uk finally lighted down the line because some of these mx oats and mx variations are limited at the moment to the states i think we're getting some here and some in the states it might be regional but let's see what happens because as you know with yeezys they keep restocking and restocking and restocking so watch out for that if you want it if you like it go and get it get your raffles in get your drawers in and that is another sneaker for the length of march the second to last sneaker is one I already got in hand. It's one of the sneakers that actually came out last month. And this is going to be a release for the fellow sneakerheads in the USA. And this time they are getting on the 11th of March, finally the release of Hey Presto, the playoff 12s. This is a gorgeous sneaker. This is amazing. And just because it's coming out in the USA doesn't mean it is not a GOAT release rating this is going to get a super goal because this is og level this is og status this is history in the making and this is history written down in 1997 absolutely gorgeous absolutely amazing this is a must-have for the jordan sneakerheads so if you want it go and get it get your raffles in you will get it trust me you will get it so og status og level five goals out of five
So the last sneaker for part one of the March releases and I told you there's loads of sneakers coming out because unfortunately there's so many sneakers that you have to be picky unless you can afford all the releases in March. Be picky, make sure you get the right sneaker that suits you and make sure you get the right sneaker that you like and make sure you don't actually go bankrupt on the sneakers in March. But the last sneaker for part one is the Jordan 1 Rebillionaire. Absolutely unique, absolutely different from everything I've seen in the Jordan 1 range. I love the writing. It's based on with and the NBA stopped Michael Jordan wearing it and Nike released that statement. They can't stop you wearing them and they can't stop you wearing these Jordan 1s because this is an absolute gorgeous, unique sneaker. I love the writing because this is absolute unique. And with that band sign at the back, so much meaning, so much to this sneaker that I didn't understand initially until I actually did the research and until the bros reached out and told me about this sneaker a bit more. And then when you finally get the research and you understand that sneaker, it actually means more to you than you realize. It is a gorgeous sneaker. This is a sneaker I'm gonna try and pick up on the 12th of March because definitely a sneaker that reminds me of the Jordan 5 Dawnbecker. It is a sneaker, oh, I hope that the actual lining and the writing actually light up when you shine that black light on it, but I don't think it does, but it is such a gorgeous, meaningful sneaker. So I'm definitely gonna try and pick that up on the 12th of March, but I'm gonna give this a five goats out of five. Not super got, not OG, but just misses the bolt on that super got rating, but five goats out of five, that's what it deserves and like i told you guys so many sneakers are releasing in march watch out be careful don't go bankrupt over sneakers trust me it's not worth it but definitely this is part one and as you can see we've got so many sneakers watch out for part two i'm going to put that on after the 12th of march because once these rebellion years come out i'm going to put out the video for part two of the secondary or second phase of releases in march definitely something to watch out for and i hope you do enjoy going through all the sneakers in march because trust me guys is so many sneakers out there i actually want to see what the sneaker is that we're going to get for the 26th of march which is air max day i heard concepts i heard different variations but we're going to deal with it when we know more information after the 12th of march so please join me enjoy this video hopefully you enjoy the next video keep coming in thank you for all the love and support that you're giving me and i hope to see you in the next one so I'll catch you there guys and like i always say hope you have an amazing week amazing month and an amazing year and i hope you cop the sneakers you like because you all deserve to get the sneakers you want from me tj love kicks customs peace out for now guys